afternoon. A local man was robbed at gunpoint inside his home last night, and police think he may have been specifically targeted. It happened just after 11 in New Haven. Police responded to a home in the 500 block of Courtney Drive. News Channel 15's Janice Allen joins us live from News Control tonight with the latest. Well, two men forced their way into the home of an 80-year-old man there. Luckily, he wasn't hurt other than being badly shaken. Just after 11 o'clock Thursday night, a man answered his door in this quiet New Haven neighborhood to find two unexpected visitors on the other side. The uh, lone uh, homeowner was confronted by two male whites uh, in her early 20s, one armed with a uh, silver uh, semi-automatic pistol. Within seconds, the two robbers were forcing their way inside his home. They both pretty much pushed their way in through the front door once the uh, resident answered the door. Um, a gun was put in his face and then ordered to sit down. Together, they robbed the man and then ordered him to stay in the bathroom while they took off. Once they left, the man was able to call police. They brought in a canine officer, but the dog lost the trail a short distance from the home. The thieves got away with some credit cards and less than $1,000 in cash, but police say the robbery isn't random. We have reason to believe that it was, uh, uh, for some reason, this individual was, was targeted uh, and not just simply someone randomly you know, knocking on doors, robbing uh, people in the community. For that reason, police say other homeowners nearby shouldn't be alarmed. An investigation into the break-in continues with a search for the two suspects. They're described as two white males in their 20s, one with a larger build. The victim says both were shorter than 5 feet 9 and both were wearing masks and gloves. And if you have any information about this crime, contact Crime Stoppers or New Haven Police. Live in News Control, I'm Janice Allen, News Channel 15.